So picture this. You live in a small northern remote community in northern Mozambique. You're nine months pregnant. You're excited, but you're also a little scared. You have talked to the nurse, and she's encouraged you to go to the health facility to deliver. She's also warned you about the complications of giving birth at home. You talk to your husband, then you ask him what you're going to do, because the, the clinic is 20 kilometers away from your home. And he says, sorry, we don't have any money. I'm not sure how you're going to get there. So what do you do? Unfortunately, this is a situation that many Mozambican women find themselves in on a daily basis. The maternal mortality rates in Mozambique are shockingly high. 489 women per 100,000 live births. In comparison, in Canada, it's seven women per 100,000 live births. So the top left image you see up here is um, a pill called misoprostol. And it's an alternative to oxytocin, which most women in uh, many countries around the world who give birth in a hospital have access to. Now this is a, a drug that allows the uterus to contract and it ensures that um, it can prevent or can help to prevent postpartum hemorrhage. Misoprostol has been proven to be effective and it's useful in, especially in settings where women don't have access to a health facility to deliver. So this drug is also excellent for um, remote areas because it's heat stable, doesn't need a cold chain, um, it's in pill form, and it can be administered by a lay person. So you don't need a qualified health doctor or nurse. So postpartum hemorrhage is the number one leading cause of maternal mortality in Mozambique. And so given this, the Mozambican Ministry of Health has implemented a program to work with community health workers and traditional birth attendants to deliver misoprostol to women who give birth at home. So these are two um, traditional birth attendants, and they encourage women in the community to give birth at the health facility. <coughs> and if they can't, then they work with the women and help them to deliver at home. They come equipped with misoprostol, <coughs> And they, deliver, they give that misoprostol directly to the woman um, as soon as the baby's born and before the placenta. So my PhD research revealed the importance of empowering traditional birth attendants with the tool of misoprostol to help women who can't access a, safe, a health facility to um, ensure that they have a safe, the safest delivery possible at home. So my question is, until we can improve the health system, and ensure that every woman has access to essential reproductive and health services, <coughs> how do we work together and bring together the formal and informal health sectors so that we can ensure that all women who, who need the care can receive it?